بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Math Grade 6 Today we want to learn surface area of rectangular prisms Surface area of rectangular prisms See with me this video Chapter 10, Lesson 3, Surface Area of Rectangular Prisms. The surface area of a rectangular prism is the sum of the area of all of its faces. So the formula is surface area equals 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the height times the width. Example 1. Find the surface area of the prism. So this prism, we're given the net because it's opened up. So we want to find the surface area by finding the area of each individual shape. So if we start with this green box right here, this green box has dimensions 9 by 7. So to find the area of the green box, we do 9 times 7, which gives us 63 for that box. This blue box has dimensions 7 by 5, so we do 7 times 5 to find the area of it, which is 35. This box in the middle, this side is the same length as this 5 right here, so we know that this has dimension of 5 meters. This side is the same size as this so I know that this is nine meters and the area of this is nine times five, which is 45. Down here, we have a green box that has dimensions seven and this is the same size as this and this and this, which is all nine meters. So the area of this is nine times seven, which is 63. This blue box has dimensions seven, and this is the same size as this over here. So this is five. Seven times five gives us 35. And then we have this last box, which is nine meters by, again, this is five meters because it's the same size as this one here. And nine times five gives us 45. So now to find the total surface area, we have to add up all of our areas. So we have 35 plus 63 plus 45 plus 63 again plus 35 plus 45. So first we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 23 and 26. Next we have this 6 and 4 gives us 10 and this 6 and 4 gives us another 10 so that's 20 plus 3 more is 23 another 3 is 26 plus 2 more is 28. So our total surface area is 286 meters squared. And remember that area is always units squared. Try this problem yourself to check for understanding.
Example two, find the surface area of the prism. So we need to find the area of each part of the box. So if we start with this part back here, we have the dimension five, and then this side is equal to this. So this side has a dimension of eight because it's the same as this side. So here we can write eight. So the area of this is eight times five, which is 40. And because this is a box, we know that this side up here is going to be the same as that, which is also going to be 40. Next, we have the border along the side here. This area here has dimensions five by 13. So the area of this is five times 13, which is 85. And then we know that this side is going to be the same. The last part we have is the bottom of the box. And this has dimensions eight by 13, which is eight times 13 gives us 104. To find the total surface area, we have to add up all the areas. So on the bottom of the box, we got 104, but we have to add that twice because we also have the top of the box, which is also 104. Then we have 85 plus 85, And then we have 40 plus 40. So here we have 5 plus 5 is 10, plus another 4 is 14, plus another 4 is 18. Then we have 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 more is 20, plus another 4 is 24, plus 1 more is 25. Then we have two plus one plus one, which is four. So our total surface area is 458 inches squared. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example three, Heather is wrapping a gift for her friend. The dimensions are nine inches long, 10 inches wide, and 13 inches tall. To determine how much wrapping paper to buy, she needs to find the surface area of the gift. What is the surface area of the gift? Okay, so let's try and draw a gift box. Okay, so we know that it's nine inches long 10 inches wide and 13 inches tall. So let's find the surface area by finding the area of each piece. So this piece here in the back is going to be 13 by 10. So 13 times 10 gives us 130. And then we know that the front piece is also going to be 130. Next, we have the side piece here. 
which is 9 by 13. So 9 times 13, which is 117. And then we know this piece is also going to be 117. Lastly, we have the bottom piece. And this bottom piece is 10 by 9, which is 90. And then we know we also have the top of the box, which is also going to be 90. So we have 90 twice for the top and the bottom. Then we have 130 twice. And then we have 117 twice. So let's add them all up to find the total surface area. So 7 plus 7 gives us 14. Then we have 9 plus 1 is 10. 9 plus this one is another 10, so that's 20. 20 plus 3 is 23, plus 3 more is 26, plus 1 more is 27. Then we have 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, which gives us 674. So our surface area is 674 inches squared. Pause the video here and try this one yourself to check for understanding. So this is the meaning of the surface area. Today, we want to learn how to find the surface area of rectangular prisms. As you see here, here we have open up figure. Uh, this is rectangular prism, but this is, this is open up uh, figure. So we can uh, solve the area of each part, for example, solve the area for this part, then this part, then this part, then here, then here, then here, then we can add, then we can add. This is uh, some method to solve the surface area. See with, see with me now this video. It's not the big names and the big companies that drive the economy. It's Chapter 10, Lesson 3, Surface Area of Rectangular Prisms. You will be able to find the surface area of rectangular prisms. The surface area, SA, of a rectangular prism with length L, width W, and height H is the sum of the areas of the faces. So if we were to take this rectangular prism and unfold it, we would see this two-dimensional figure. Now, with a rectangular prism, it has three sets of congruent sides. So these two sides would be congruent, the bottom and the top would be congruent, and the back and the front would be congruent. 
So to find the surface area, what we need to do is find the area of each different face. There are three different faces. We have one here, one here, and one here. Now, the blue faces are the same, the green face is the same, and the peach face is the same. So let's find the area of one. It is a rectangle, so the area is base times height. Base and height are six and seven. Which is 42. Now remember, there are two of them. So I'm going to take that amount and multiply it by two. And I get 84 for the blue. On to our second one, the green. It's also base times height because it's a rectangle. Its base and height are eight and six. Eight times six is 48. Again, there are two of these rectangles. So multiply by two and we get 96. Our last rectangle is also base times height. Now we have this height, which matches seven, and this base, which matches eight. So eight times seven, which is 56. Again, times two, and we get 112. All we need to do then with these three areas is add them up. 112, 96, and 84. So our total surface area is 292 meters squared. Letter B. Here's one rectangle, second rectangle, and the third rectangle. And remember, these match up with their corresponding opposite side. So area of one, base times height, which is 10 and 10. 10 times 10 is 100. There are two of them, so multiply by two. And the blue faces are 200. Onto the green faces. Also rectangles. Area equals. We have our base and height as 15 and 10. So 15 times 10 is 150. And there are two of them, so multiply by two, and we get an area of 300. Our third rectangle, we have a base matching 15 and a height matching 10. Multiply together, we get 150. There are two of them. And we get 300. Add up those areas, 200, 300, 300. And we get a total area of 800 inches squared. Now we can also use a formula to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Since there are two of each side, that's why we have these twos in our formula. We multiply two times the length and width, two times the length and height, and two times the width and height. So here's our rectangular prism. We'll just label length, width, and height. Our formula, surface area, 
equals 2 length width plus 2 length height plus 2 width height. Plug in everything you know. So surface area equals 2 times the length of 5 times the width of 7 plus 2 times the length of 5 times the height of 4 plus 2 times the width of 7 times the height of 4. Surface area equals 2 times 5 times 7 is 70 plus 2 times 5 times 4 is 40 plus 2 times 7 times 4 is 56. Add those amounts together. We have 70 plus 40 plus 56. We get a total area of 166 feet squared. Okay, let's mark 7 as our length. 4.8 as our width, and 6 as our height. It really doesn't matter on a rectangular prism what your length, width, and height are. Surface area equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Plug in your values. Surface area equals 2 times 7 times 4.8 plus 2 times 7 times 6 plus 2 times 4.8 times 6. Surface area equals. 2 times 7 times 4.8 is 67.2 plus 2 times 7 times 6 is 84 plus 2 times 4.8 times 6 is 57.6. Add those amounts together, and you get a surface area of 208.8 centimeters squared. Find the surface area of the rectangular prism. Length, width, and height. Surface area equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Surface area equals, plug in your values, 2 times 3 times 4 plus 2 times 3 times 2 plus 2 times 4 times 2. 
surface area equals 2 times 3 times 4 is 24 plus 2 times 3 times 2 is 12 plus 2 times 4 times 2 is 16. Add those up and we get a total surface area of 52 meters squared. Letter D. The geode is being sent as a gift. It is packed in a box that measures 7 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 16 inches tall. What is the surface area of the box? So there we have our length, width, and height. Surface area equals 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. Plug in your values. 2 times 7 times 3 plus 2 times 7 times 16 plus 2 times 3 times 16. Surface area equals 2 times 7 times 3 is 42. 2 times 7 times 16 is 224. And 2 times 3 times 16 is 96. Add those up. And we get a surface area of 362 inches squared. Chapter 10, Lesson 3. Surface area of rectangular prisms. You will be able to find the surface area of rectangular prisms. The surface area, SA, of a rectangular The surface area, the symbol SA, SA, surface area of a rectangular prism with a length L, width W, and height H is the sum of the area of the faces. As you see here, we have rectangular prism. Uh, this is the height, uh, this is the length, and this is the width. So, when you want to solve the area, use this rule, SA, surface area, equal 2 times length times h plus 2 times l times w plus 2 times height times w. For example, here we have rectangular prism. Here we have l length 4 with w 3 and the height will be 2. Start from the formula. The surface area SA equal 2 multiply by L multiply by H plus 2 multiply by L multiply by W plus 2 multiply by H multiply by W. So 2, the value of L, 4, put here 4, and the value of H, 2, put here 2, plus we have here, here 2 multiply by the L will be 4 and W will be 3 plus here we have 2 and the height will be 2 here and the, the width will be 3. 
Now you can you can solve now. Two times four times two will be sixteen. Plus two times four times three will be twenty-four. Plus two times two times three will be twelve. Now sixteen plus twenty-four plus twelve will be fifty-two meter squared. Meter squared. The next example, as you see here, we have the height will be six, the width will be five, and the length will be seven. Start from, from the rule, surface area SA equal to LH plus two LW plus two HW. So two times seven, times 6y plus L7 and then H6. So 2 times 7 times 6 plus 2 times L will be 7 times W will be 5 plus 2 times the height will be 6 times W will be 5. Now, 2 times 7 times 6 will be 84. 2 times 7 times 5 will be 70. And 2 times 6 times, uh, times 5 will be 60. Now add 84 plus 70 plus 60 will be uh, 214 uh, meter squared. And here we have some videos. When you have free time, you can watch the old videos here. And this is our lesson today. Now, who, ha who has a question? No one. It's clear for all? No one, it's clear. Yes. yes. Right. See with me this video. This is Mrs. Pena. We're going to solve a real world example. Gift wrap. Julie needs to wrap a gift for her mother and is trying to determine how much wrapping paper she needs. The box has a length 14 inches, width 9 inches, and depth 4 inches. Find the amount of wrapping paper Julie needs to cover the box completely. For this particular problem, because we're talking about a box, it would be helpful to have a picture of what that box looks like. So I'm going to start off with a length, which is represented with 14 inches. For the width, I'm going to draw a line a little bit diagonally to that length and mark it 9. The depth or the height will be 4 inches, and I'll draw that accordingly. Now, each one of these needs a side parallel to it. For this, I'm going to draw same length as that, this height goes back same length as my nine on the other side and back again. That's a good picture for the box that I'm using for this particular example. If I want to find the amount of wrapping paper that I need to cover the box, that's surface area. The surface area for a rectangular prism is two times the length times the width. Length times width. This would represent the top and the bottom. That's why I need 2, plus 2 times the length times the height. Length times height represents the front and the back, plus 2 times the width times the height. The width times the height represents the two sides. If you ever needed to give yourself something that was represented behind, give yourself diagonals, you can also draw dashed lines to represent sides that are missing. Now, in for length, I'm going to put 14. In for width, I'm going to put 9. In for height, I'm going to put 4. So wherever I see an L, I'll be 14. 
Wherever I see a W, that will be 9. Wherever I see an H, that will be 4. 2 times 14 times W is 9 plus 2. Length is 14. Height is 4. Plus 2. Width is 9. Height is 4. Now simplify. 2 times 9 is 18 times 14. This is all multiplication. You can do it in any order that you want to. But when you multiply 2, 14, and 9, you get 252. Plus 2 times 4 would be 8 times 14 is 112. Plus 2 times 9 is 18, or 2 times 4 is 8 times 9, which is 72. And I did these multiplication before any addition. Order of operations has to stay true. 252 plus 112 plus 72 is 436. So the minimum amount of wrapping paper needed is 436 square inches. So this is our lesson today. Let us to take attendance now. Aliazia. Mr. Mojuda. Mr. Atlak. Yes, yes. Hi, Mr. Hi. Rauda. Rauda. Rauda no. Swaini. Sarah. Sarah Sultan. Selma Selma mm. Aisha Yes, Mr. Fatima Yes Yeah Yes. Eight, thank you. Bye. So this is our lesson today. How to solve the surface area of rectangular prism. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will continue uh, this lesson. Inshallah. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.